My grandfather and great-grandfather started Junction Auto in 1931. If you want to pay more, that's your business. If you want to pay less, that's my business. Hi, I'm uh, Fred Dillon down here at the Ohio Valley Gold and Silver Refinery. And we're in uh, Chardon this week and we're buying a lot of cool things. Uh, some cool things we bought. Uh, we bought some uh, sterling silver flatware here. You know, you never know what you got laying around the house. You know, might have inherited it. Um, that's going pretty high right now. Um, the old U.S. silver coins is uh, the 999 silver. That's definitely some cool stuff that we want to see down here. Um, we're also taking war relics such as old, you know, the Nazi paraphernalia and the, you know, Japanese stuff and, he, and also the American stuff from World War II. Um, and the really cool thing right now is the vintage guitars. Uh, this is an old 62 Gibson. Um, it's something that we really, really like to do is the guitars because the market's really high on them right now. Um, and then the biggest thing really right now is the gold and silver jewelry. And, I mean, we're just taking in tons of it this week because the price of gold right now is through the roof. So if you have any gold jewelry, even if it's broken, bent, mismatched, just bring it in and we'll take a look at it and hopefully we can get you a good paycheck. Yeah, how long you've been collecting coins? Probably 50 years. 50 years and what like what made you start to do that I just found some that had older dates on them and just started saving them okay and uh, how much how many would you say you've gotten up to now there's 116 coins I counted okay and um, what what types of coins are there a lot of Buffalo or what do they call them Buffalo nickels a dozen maybe silver dollars uh, a lot of pennies uh, wheat pennies okay what about the bills uh, the bills, I just had a couple Canadian ones, and these are just regular bills with numbers on them. Just regular. It's a game you can play with it. You play poker with a guy, and you tell him how many numbers you got, like fives, and play on his hand, and who has the best hand, you give them a dollar. It's called lawyer's poker. Okay. But these were just a couple Canadian bills. I had Chinese, but they disappeared. They disappeared. So what brought you in here today? We saw it in the paper. Okay. On the paper.